Yeah, okay. Uh, now we continue to other kinds of integration using numerical methods. So we have an equal uh, intervals or segments. So seg uh, so intervals and segments are the same things. Okay, so we are going to discuss about unequal intervals or unequal segments. And this is the formula. Okay, so this is the formula. We have all the formula here. And the most interesting part of this uh, formula, we have a lot of each number. So this is our H. We have H1. We have, okay, we have H1, we have H2, we have H3, and we have uh, so many edges, yeah. And this is the difference, okay, so this is the main, the basic difference uh, between the unequal interval numerical uh, methods uh, compared to any other uh, integration methods, yeah, because in previous uh, method, we only have one edge. But in this case, uh, we have a lot of value, a lot of and a lot, a lot of uh, value of edges. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, to know, uh, to more, to understand more. Okay. So, to for better understanding, um, let's uh do the example. Okay. So, okay, for the example here. Okay, we are going to uh, find the integration of wait a minute from okay from zero to ten x to the power of two plus one to x. Okay, so we are going to find the value of this expression. Okay, um. The first thing we need to do, we will we have to make a table here. So this is our table, our table. Okay, so okay, okay. Uh, but before we make the table, okay. So the the value of x must be uh, known. For self, uh, must be uh, mentioned, and the value of x. Okay, we have x zero, we have x one, we have x two, we have x three, and we have x four. Okay, and this value are already mentioned on the problem, so you don't have to uh, find the value of this axis because the axis will be uh, mentioned. Uh, and the problem. Okay, so in this example, uh, the value of x zero is uh, zero, and then this is one, this is four, this is six, and this is uh, ten. So this is uh, the problem, our problem. Yeah. Okay. Now we are going to answer uh, this this uh, question. So let me. Okay, this is for the example, and then this is our answer. Okay, this is our answer. Were. okay so we are we, we, we make a table here okay. we make a table this is for x and this is for y and this is x0 x1 x2 x3 and x4 Yep. Okay. Now, uh, we put all the values here. So this is zero. This is one, four, six, and uh, ten. Yeah. Okay. Now we are going to find uh, the value of y zero and then y one, y two. Y three and Y four. Okay. Okay. Now let's take a look for the Y one. Okay. It's Y zero. Okay. So for the for the Y zero, um, we take look. We we we, we go back to our uh, problem here. So this is X 
to the power of 2 plus 1. So uh, the y0 must be x0 to the power of 2 plus 1. So x0 is must be 0. Okay. 0 to the power of 2 plus 1. So this is 1. Okay. And then for number y1, okay, I will write down here. So this is 1. Okay. y1, x1 to the power of 2 plus 1. So this x1 is 1. Okay. x1 is 1 to the power of 2 plus 1. Okay. And this is 2. Okay, so I will put number 2. And you do all uh, the calculation uh, until you find the values of x, uh, y2, y3, and y4. Okay. Now for the uh, the efficiency of our meeting, so I will uh, make the calculation first, then I will show you. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. So this is uh, for the value of. Uh, y2, uh, y1, y3, and y4. So for the y2, we have uh, 17 here, and then y3, 37, and then for y4, we have 101. So this is our value of y. Okay, and we will go back to our um, formula. So we already know the value of y y0, y1, y2, y3 and because the highest index is 4 then we stop to the y4 yeah? because we don't have y5 because the x only uh, up to 4 if you want to find the value of y5 then the x must be x5 but we don't have the x5 so, we, 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 uh, so the y4 is uh, enough Okay, so we have a we 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 are uh, we are clear with the value of all y. Now we are going to find the value of h because we don't have uh, the the value of h one until the uh, h four yeah because the this is the, the four so the h must be also h four okay. So to find the value of h. Uh, it's simple actually. So, okay. So from this, we make line. Okay, we make line, and this is for okay. And uh, this is the x zero, which uh, is the smallest x, and then this is the uh, x four, the maximum index of x. Okay, and then this is x one. This is x2 and this is uh, x3 x3 and then this is x oh x oh i'm sorry so x will be 0 1 2 3 okay now the value of x0 is 0 the value of x1 is 1 and then for the x2 is 4 and then x3 is 6 and x4 is 10 so the difference between these two number is 0 minus 1 so this is 1 so this is the value of h1 okay this is 4 minus 1 or 3 yeah, so this is the value of uh, h2 okay so you and please uh, you have to uh, you have to uh, subtract the the highest x okay so this is the x3 minus x2 okay do not uh, it is not x2 minus x3 but x3 always x3 minus x2 so you, you cannot do this Okay, so you cannot do this. Yeah, you cannot do this. Okay, so you have to uh, 
you have to locate the highest x minus the previ the previous x yeah and you ha you cannot do the opposite okay so we have 6 minus uh, 4 so this is 2 okay so the 2 is our h 3 and then x 4 minus x 3 this is 10 uh, minus minus 6 okay so this is 4 okay. yep um okay uh, i'm sorry before i'm sorry so actually uh we can uh we, we are make uh we have we, uh we are trying to find the difference between the x and then the previous x so actually uh you can okay you can do this and also you can do uh this yeah. as long as your uh, as long as your calculation is always positive yeah. because we are we are uh, we are going to find the difference yeah the difference so selisih selisih so the selisih so the difference between 6 and 4 okay is 2 and also for this number 4 and Six. This is the difference between uh, 6 and 4, this is 2, and then the difference between 4 and 6 is always 2, yeah, so this is not a subtraction, but it's all about a uh, difference, so I will, uh, I will uh, re-explain you, so actually, uh, not this, yeah, Okay, I'm sorry. So this is one. Okay, because the difference, okay, difference between zero and one is one, and then this is three, and then for the okay, I will make difference. Okay, or see. Okay, one, three, and then this is two, and then this is four. So this is our h one. This is our h two. H three and H four. Okay, so this is our uh, the value of our H. Okay. okay, so we uh, we already uh, have the value of X and then the value of all Y. So we can just put all the number into this uh, uh, formula. So the answer will be. Okay, I will write down the the problem first. So. 0 to 10 um, x to the power of 2 plus 1 dx so the first one is x1 uh, multiplied by y2 plus y1 divided by 2 so our h1 is 1 okay this is 1 and then big bracket y0 okay y0 is 1 plus 2 divided by 2 okay so this is the y0 and then this is y1 and then this is h1 okay plus h2 h2 is 3 uh, y2 uh, y1 so y1 is uh, 2 Okay, well, when is 2 plus y2, 17, divided by 2. Okay, so this is h2, this is y1, and this is y2, plus h3. So our h3 is, wait a minute, okay, so this is our h3, 2, okay, this is 2. Okay, so this is 2, y, 3, okay, over by 3 is 37, okay, y, 3 plus y, 2, 17, divided by 2, okay, so this is h, 3, this is y, 3, and this is y, 
plus h4 which is the final h so our h4 is uh, 4 wait a minute let me, okay so this is h4 so this is h okay so this is 4 uh, why wait a minute 0 1 1 2 3 4 oh wait a minute okay wait a minute oh yep uh this is the problem so this not this is not y4 yeah but this is y yeah way two okay 17 here yeah, 17 so it is by four by uh, two okay okay now okay let's continue this is uh h4 and then y4 plus uh i'm sorry y4 y4 which okay y4 is 101 y4 this is y4 and then this is must be y3. So our y3 is 37 divided by 2. Okay. And we don't have h4. So this is this calculation is enough. And you can use your calculation to uh, to calculate this all. And you will have and the final result is 300 and 16 okay uh, 350 uh, 360 okay so by using uh by using this rule okay and unequal intervals okay the unequal the unequal means tidak sama okay so the intervals so actually h okay h is the interval so we have different value of h the first h is 1 and then the second h is 3 the third age is, is two and then the last age is four. So we have a different value of age. So that's why uh, this uh, concept or this theory is called with unequal intervals or unequal segment. Okay, because this is segment, okay? This is segment segment one, this is sex, segment two, segment uh, segment three, and this is segment segment four. Okay. Okay now. Let's uh we compare. Okay, this is using numerical method. Okay, using uh, the prediction. Now we are going to use analytical uh, method using a uh, usual way in mathematics. So I will uh, write down the problem first. Using analytical uh, method. Okay, I will show the the tips. Okay. Uh, you can go to this, okay? So this is the uh, web that can solve a uh, lot of mathematics uh, problem. You can just click. Okay. We okay. So we are going to put this uh, expression into the web. Okay. So you can enter the problem here. First, okay, so from 0 to uh, 10, and then x, uh, x, oh, I'm sorry, so this is you can x, okay, x to the power of 2 plus 1 dx, okay, yep, so this is, uh, okay, so go. And we got three hundred and forty-three point thirty-three. Okay, so using analytical method, we found three hundred forty-three point thirty-three. So it's uh close enough actually. Not close enough actually because we only use uh only h uh only because we only have one two three four five. Only have five x. If you want to 
uh, be uh, more accurate we can use more access yeah we can uh, try to using let's say 10 axes because uh, more axis means more segment and more segment means uh, more equal okay. yeah so this is for the equal methods and I hope you can understand my explanation